Dum, 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 dum. Hello again, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please subscribe if you haven't done that yet. If you are not new here, welcome back. Nice to see you again. In today's video, I want to cover a subject of, as you probably know from the title, of age. I received so many questions recently and comments in my Instagram or YouTube channel about what is the flight attendant age limit, uh, whether they, you get hired if you are over 30, if there are any age restrictions. So let me explain best as I can. First of all, that depends on the airlines that you intend to work for. Something like age restriction doesn't really exist. There is not like upper age, like if you're older than that, you are definitely not gonna get hired, no. It all comes down to how you look, how you present yourself, um, not like really how old you are. And I've seen so many comments that uh, the younger the better, that uh, if you are over 30, you are not going to be hired. Well, let me tell you, I got hired when I was over 30. I'm 34 now and I'm proud of my age and uh, I'm really proud of how I look for my age. So I was the oldest person in the whole group of training that I was attending to. And not only that, but also this was my first time working as a flight attendant, so I had zero experience before as well as I was one of the very few girls in the group who made it through assessment day the first time. So as you can see, age doesn't really matter. What matters is how you look, how you present yourself, and the most important, uh, and I cannot stress this enough, it's personality, character, people skills, and certain character features which makes you stand out in the interview and may, makes you noticed by interviewer that you are a person which is um, which is going to be good for that job that will not break down under stress, uh, pressure, uh, when the passenger is screaming at you or uh, there are so many things which I covered already so many times in my videos. So I don't think that age really matters and uh, I want to I want to discuss this subject from a different uh, approach to make you understand because you are mostly concerned about uh, the age limit from the company point of view if they will reject you if you are over a certain age well my answer is I don't think so and here we are talking about Middle Eastern Airlines like Emirates, Etihad, Qatar but also you have to look at it from your point of view because as you know, this is a job that is difficult and requires you to be far away from home. It's a very big difference and as you could probably notice in uh, British Airways or American Airlines, the ladies who work there or even Alitalia in Europe, the ladies who work there, they are more or less the age of my mom. And that's okay. Uh, but you have to understand that they live in their own country, they pay taxes, they have their retirement after working there their whole life and uh, they live where their family and friends are. Here it's a little bit different. You go to, you are taken from your environment to another environment and the workload is of course very different than in Europe or US because uh, we have incredibly bigger amount of ultra long haul flights. The rosters are packed more densely. So after a few years, you are really kind of burned out and tired more than you would work in European airlines doing short hauls all the time. Plus you live far away from your family and you know it all starts to add up to the point that after a couple of years you consider changing your career. Plus you don't pay taxes living in the UAE so you don't save up anything for your retirement. So those are all things to consider for yourself whether you want to do it in a certain age and how long do you want to do it for. That's from your point of view, what you have to consider if you want to do that job. But there is also what are you more interested in, from what I see, it's uh, the company side. How do they look at it? If they consider um, any age limit when hiring? Um, I would say no, there's no such thing as age limit, but obviously there is like preferences for younger girls. Age doesn't really matter that much. It can be a factor, but it's not a factor that will decide whether you get a job or not. 
at all. It's not like primary factor that will determine your chances of employment. The next subject that I want to cover, since we are talking about age and things like that, uh, if age matters uh, when it comes to employment. The other things is look. Uh, looks. I get so many questions from girls and that makes me actually quite sad because that shows so many insecurities and how little girls believe in themselves and that makes me sad. So I want to cut this and I want to tell you one thing. Stop worrying about such an irrelevant small thing that majority of people do not even notice. I get questions about like if I have a small scar will I get hired or if I have a mole uh, or a mark or recently I even got a question what if I have a wrinkle on my neck and the girl asked me this question she said like I, I, not I noticed that you have like double wrinkle on your neck uh, and I have it too will I get hired well apparently if you see I'm working I got hired first thing second I believe it was <laughs> the funny thing only enough I believe it was asked by an Indian girl and if you're Indian, you should know Priyanka Chopra, who is a beautiful lady. Google her pictures if you haven't seen her. She has very visible wrinkles on her neck. And I don't think I have to remind you that once she was Miss World. And up to this day, she's enormously famous and hired all over. But what she's more uh, known for, I believe, is her great personality. Mm. So that is really irrelevant. And by the way, we have a scar scarf to wear. So that's completely, the question was uh, off. But anyway, uh, the moral of this story is that you should not uh, think that you have to be absolutely flawless to become a flight attendant and that you, they are looking for photo models. This is not an interview for Victoria's Secret models. It's not. Of course, the preference is for beautiful girls who look good, but more than beautiful, you have to look presentable, elegant and good, because of course you are representing the company, but you don't have to be a super supermodel and you don't have to be flawless. And as a name says, and it's quite self-explanatory, this is a job interview. So you are actually supposed to do a job not to pose for pictures. So what matters more are character features which uh, position you in a place that you would, in the eyes of the interviewer, be able to perform well on board in a stressful situations and do the job well. So that all what matters at the end of the day because even if you are Miss World, flawless, but you can't handle stress, you don't have people personality with skills of talking, of solving problem and uh, lots of other things which I covered in my previous videos already, you're not going to make it. You're not going to be hired, although you are a beautiful 20-year-old girl. The whole message behind this video is that I want to tell you all, because there are so many young girls who want to do that, just do that. Do not be fearful of making this step and subconsciously talk yourself out of it by trying to find excuses like maybe I'm too old, maybe I'm too short, maybe I have this mark, maybe I have this scar. Believe me, go for it. It doesn't matter and I'm the best example that you can do it. So if I can do it, you can do it too. Just go, do your best, present yourself in the best way possible. Watch my previous videos of how to pass assessment day and just go for it and stop being so critical to yourself and stop thinking that every single uh, irrelevant thing that majority of people don't even see can stop you from doing what you want. So good luck to you all and I will keep my fingers crossed for your interviews and assessment day. I've re I received so many messages recently from the girls who past interviews and they were watching my videos and they said it was very helpful so that makes me very happy okay i think i covered what i wanted i will end this video here thank you so much for watching um, if you like this video please comment subscribe like and do all the things and i'll see you in my next one bye